video I'll be uh, teaching uh, the techniques for TM construction the first technique is Turing machine with stationary head what's the meaning of stationary head the head doesn't move either to the left or to the right okay so in such kind of a Turing machine the in such kind of a Turing machine the moves or uh, the red right head is going to take uh, three moves that is either to the left or to the right or stationary that means it remains at the same position so that uh, we can uh, define like this q comma a as q dash y comma a that is q comma a used to q dash y comma yes now what how does we represent q to q dash reads a input a character and changes it to y and remains at the uh, same place okay if I take tape symbols if this is a character and red right head is on this a character a so here what happens in case of this kind of a definition that is a will be replaced by y a will be replaced by y but since it is yes it re the red right head remains at the same position it doesn't take a move either to the left or to the right that's about uh, Turing machine with stationary head then we have storage in the states the second technique uh, here uh, the state is state is represented by a pair state is represented by a pair that means every state earlier there was there was a uh, only a state name now state is a pair that means along with the states you also have a tape symbol tape symbol okay and where q is the state a is the tape symbol stored in q comma a so the new set becomes so entire new set becomes set in the sense the states that can be present in the turing machine is the states all the states q into tau symbols tau is the tape symbols so that means suppose if the states are q naught and q1 and tape symbols are 0 comma b then we have a state q0 comma 0 we have a state q0 comma b and then q1 comma 0 and then q1 comma b so this is how the state name will be okay next uh, let's try to construct a Turing machine for 0 1 star union union 1 0 star so plus represents union okay 0 1 star union 1 0 star okay we have to construct a Turing machine that remembers the first symbol so here because as there has to be one zero there sh shouldn't be more than one zero we have to remember the first symbol okay then we have to check uh, whether it appears or not later okay if suppose zero is present then one star one can be present at any time even zero time is also okay and more than that also fine otherwise if one has to be you have to remember the first symbol one and followed by zero star so in this case this is the requirement but this is the requirement you have to remember a symbol called zero okay and based on that here what we expect that should be represented in the Turing machine okay now as I told earlier the states can be in this format that is all the states q0 comma q1 across 0 comma 1 comma b the tape symbols okay and uh, the machine will contain the machine will contain the pairs states comma the tape symbols next i will draw the draw the turing machine for 0 1 star union 1 0 star Now, here 
the start need to be in this manner because it's just the initial state initial state only we can tell that blank can be the character we can tell that blank can be you would know only blank okay and what is the two parts of uh, the language 0 1 star and 1 0 star let me consider 0 1 star let me consider 0 1 star so as soon as you get 0 you move to the next character that means you are remembering first character is very important so 0 0 comma r okay then you go to another state and you have to tell you have just seen the character 0 okay seen the character 0 then there may be any number of times 1 can be present any number of times 1 can be present okay and then after seeing all ones for example if this after seeing all ones you get what blank moment you get blank to get blank you go to a final state so this time you can tell that you have just seen a blank character okay this is about 0 1 star now what about 1 0 star again let's start from the initial state and then the first character you're going to read is 1 1 r okay then q2 q3 comma 0 sorry you have just seen which character 1 not 0 this time 1 and any after that once you have seen 1 you you have to match any number of zeros you 0 comma 0 comma r and then go to the final state if you reach blank you can go to the final state so final state as usual we have to double circulate okay this is about the storage in the state now let us see the working of this again okay so in the initial state in the initial state m is in machine is in q naught and it has just uh, seen what blank in its data portion okay and then on seeing the first symbol suppose if you consider the input like 0 1 on seeing the first symbol 0 what happens the stay that is the tape moves to the right moves to the right and switches to the next state that is q1 okay, now when it sees the symbol a that is 1 then what it is going to do it is going to loop at q1 state it is going to loop at q1 state okay suppose if the next symbol is blank that is after reading all ones then it reaches blank what happens you can tell that you can tell that uh, the input has been accepted that is by entering into the entering into the final state and this time you should tell you have just seen the blank character okay suppose if the next uh, symbol is suppose if the next symbol is uh, any other character other than suppose 0 1 1 you get 0 what happens in that case it doesn't move anywhere it will land at it will land at the non final state or it is not able to move further it, so m moves right without changing the state if the next symbol is a bar okay then m moves right without changing the state okay So this is for this third state is for if you find if you find one okay let me repeat these steps if it is next symbol is blank blank in the sense after zero if you get blank that means obviously zero is zero is part of this language so what happens you will just read zero and directly enter to a final state suppose if there are many ones here so what happens uh, that is the uh, if this is a this will be a bar so if the next symbol is a bar then m moves to the right the machine moves over the character that is present in the symbols okay but it is 
remain at the remain at the same state q1 it remains uh, at the same state q1 okay so suppose other than that if you get any zeros in between then m holds without reaching the final state and this step will be repeated even if the input is uh, this uh, step will be repeated until uh, some the machine holds okay and uh, if the input is, is a 1 0 star if the input is 1 0 star then what happens q or not is going to take this path and continues matching with the zeros here and finally when it gets blank it is going to reach a final state so this is about the uh, this is about the uh, story uh, not st storage in the state this is about the storage in the state next we'll see what is multiple track machine tracking machine that is the third techniques in case of turing machine third technique in case of turing machine as the name says as the name says the entire your uh, tape single tape is divided into multiple tracks the single tape here is divided into multiple tracks okay multiple tracks and here what happens uh, the each will have some the if there are k tracks if there are k tracks from here if this is one this is 2, this is if there are 3 tracks for example, let us consider K as 3, then each will have, each will have its own tape symbols, each will have its own tape symbols, okay. So, we can say that uh, if PM with multiple tracks is going to contain tau per K, tau per K symbols, okay. Next, we'll see what is subroutine. After subroutine, subroutine, uh, it is similar to the program uh, subroutine. What it will have one uh, initial state and a return state. So, if you know that uh, in this case, if this is a main program, I will I'm going to call a sub function. Okay, I'm going to call a sub function. That means a subroutine, and the name of this is subroutine. It's going to be initialized at from here. And finally, once it performs the job, task, once it finishes its task, then it is going to return to the main function. So, that is why it explained here. So, if this will have an initial state and a return state, after reaching the return state, it is a temporary halt for using a subroutine and new states are uh, introduced. Okay. And uh, one thing is when you enter into a subroutine, since this is a machine, since this is a Turing machine and this is a Turing machine, this will have its own set of states, its own set of states. So, uh, so suddenly the, the change that is happening at this particular portion. So, earlier the states were at, at this particular Turing machine was different and here it is different. So, when it enter into a subroutine, it goes to the new set of states and uh, when the end is reached subroutine comes back to the main it is going to return uh, subroutine uh, returns to the main then it is going to use or machine is going to use the states that is defined by your main subroutine um, that is main function okay that's about the subroutine and in the next video next video i am going to design a turing machine which can multiply two positive integer using using subroutine using subroutine so example related to the subroutine is shown in the next video